Welcome back. This is Dan Havey, and today we're going to take a look at Letitia's question here. And uh, what she was wondering is how can she set up what is normally known here as a product launch funnel inside of ClickFunnels 2.0. And in this case here, they're actually using it for a webinar, some pre-training for a webinar. But either way, it's all about the functionality of how you can set this up. Now, in this case here, they have three images across the top. You're going to see one is colorized, and then the other two are grayed out. Well, when you click on the first lesson here that's colorized, it will open up a section down here in the bottom with a video in it. Then when you click on the one in the center, what it will do is it will make this one gray, this one colorized, and then open up a different section down here at the bottom. Now you can do this using images if you know a little bit about code you can easily have it hide and show the elements based on a click on one of these images well if you don't know a code any code and you don't want to pay anybody for any code you can do this inside a 2.0 with just using buttons so if you can if you're okay with putting a button down here at the bottom underneath here uh, then you can you can do this. So what what this is really a process of is when you click on the button, the button has the ability to hide and show different elements, section rows, whatever you want on the page. And so that's what we're going to use is that functionality. Now I'm seeing down here at the bottom it says watching now and coming soon and coming soon. You could make these out of buttons down here uh, with just text on them by just removing the background, removing any borders or anything on the button, and it would just look like a text element then. So you could use it that way. But again, if you want to click exclusively on the image, then you're going to have to use custom code. But let's take a look at how we're going to set this up using our buttons. So the first thing you have to have is your colorized image and then a grayed out image. Of course, you would have three different images. I'm just trying to do this as quickly as I possibly can. Now, the next thing you want to do is give each one of these elements that you're going to be working with a name. And that's only so that you can find them. I'll show you, I'll show you what we're going to do here is we're going to come into our button. Once we get those set up, we're going to say hide or show that button. And then we're going to have this drop down list. And, you know, if, if all these just said row, a blank section, paragraph, you wouldn't know what it was, even though you're going to see here as, I, as I'm moving the mouse up and down, it puts an orange box. See how it puts that orange box around there? So it will put an orange box around the elements as you highlight over them. But it's still best uh, to give each one of these elements a name, a title is technically what it is, in order to be able to find it more readily in this list. So how you do that is you can, there's two different ways you can get in here. You can click on this little code icon right there, open up this box at the bottom, and here I said day one image. Make sure you type in whatever you want so you know you can find it in your list. And then you always have to click on update, and normally you have to click on update twice until it uh, goes to a dark grayed out button like that. Now, a second way you can get into these images is just by clicking on it like this. Instead of clicking the code icon, just click on the image, and then come up here to the top, click on the code icon there, put in what you want here. In this case here, it's day one lock. And then we're going to just click on our update again. Same thing with our button. We just need one button for each one of these columns. So we're going to come in here with our button. We're going to open up our code and we're going to say day one button. Then because we have three images across, we're going to need three sections down here so that we can swap out the text and the video down here at the bottom more, more easily. You could just swap out each individual headline, each individual element in here. But why do that when you can just plunk it all into one section and then knock it out? Now you're going to see right here, this says day three section because that is now our title. And so we can click on our code and we can see down here day three section. After you type it in, make sure you click on update. I keep telling you that because I forget to do it half the time. And so then also, now we got all these nice little names in here, you can also go into your layout and you can see those names here. So we got day one image, day one lock, day one button. So it goes all the way down here, day one section. And then also, as you're working on any one of these elements, let's click on it. It will also say day three image right here. And up in your breadcrumbs, it will say day three image. And like I said, it will also do the same in the button itself. 
So now we have to set our buttons because remember the buttons are going to do our hiding and showing for us. So we're going to click on our button right here. And now, while I'm at it, let me just show you here. If you want to make this look more like a text element, we can do that by coming in and we would have to set the background color here. We have to go to custom. We'll cut, set that to transparent. Now we got nothing left on the page. But now let's just make our text red. And so then you can style this any way you want. Put in any kind of font you want. And always remember your hover and your press. Do you want to also set those as well so that they don't you know, show up as a blue image, which is what they normally will show up as. So let me just kind of put this back to where I had it. So let's go there. Okay, so now... What we have to do, oh, one thing I forgot to show you is on these images here, it's pretty cool, it's a new feature in 2.0. We're going to click on the image, and normally your filter will be turned off like that. So these are not separate images. These are actually the exact same images that I just applied a filter to. So then I came in here, and the grayscale is normally set. So the grayscale is set to 0, and the opacity is set to 1. So what I did is I just set the grayscale to 1, and you're going to see as I do that, uh, the image will, there's not a lot of color on the image, but you're going to see around the book, the color of the image changes around by the book there. And then we're going to set our opacity down to 50%. So it makes it look like a grayed out image. So that's a nice new feature in there. You don't have to uh, mess around with Photoshop or something and try to fix up your image. So now we're going to come in here to our button and we're going to say, okay, what do we want to hide and show? So we click on this, we come down here and show and hide. So then I already have this one set up, so we're going to show, and it says here there are four different items that we're going to show. So let's see what they are. So when I click on this button, I want it to be activating the let's, day one state, let's call it. So the day one state means I want this image here at the top, and then this one colorized for day one, and then day two and day three grayed out. The buttons will not change. And then we also want to show day one section, but we want to hide day two and day three. Now that's the important part is the hiding part, because if I then click on day two, after being on day one, I have to make sure I hide the day one section first, and then show the day two section. Same thing with day three. You have to make sure always that you hide the stuff you don't want showing and show the stuff that you do want showing. So let's go into our button here. So we're going to say day one image and watch here as again, as I'm moving this around, you're going to see um, where the boxes go. So we're going to show our day one image and then we are going to show our day two locked image and our day three locked image. Like I said, the buttons will not change, and then we're going to show our day one section. So these are all the shows you set first, and then we're going to say, okay, what do we want to hide? And basically we want to hide everything else because again, we don't know what may be open on the page. Did we come from lesson two or day two or did we come from day three? And therefore we have to know which ones we need to hide and show. So what we want to hide then is so again this is day one we're working on we want to hide the lock image for day one we want to hide the the colorized image for day two and the colorized image for day three and then we also want to hide uh, section two and section three because again we don't know what day we came from so they could potentially be open so what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, what i'm going to do now is i'm going to pause for a second i'm going to finish out the other two buttons and then we can test drive it okay so i got all three buttons set and i put in some funny cat videos down here because who doesn't love funny cat videos uh because if you don't put in the video what's going to happen is you're going to have a blank spot right here also um if you don't hide what you want in your beginning state which will be our day one state um you're going to get everything on the page and we don't want that so we have to set this now for our day one state so in that case here we're going to want to hide this image so we'll come down here and click on hide we're going to hide this image and we are going to hide this image right there and we're going to want to show this section but we're going to want to hide this section right here and the day three section as well we will click on that so this should be 
our starting state. Then when we click on day two, then we're going to get a colorized image here, black and white here and here, and then we're going to get our day two section if I set it all up right. Now, as I noticed, or you noticed probably going through here is the top one for show had four items, the one for hide had five items in each case because you're always hiding and showing three images up here at the top but you're showing one section and hiding two sections at the bottom that's why it's four and five so let us save this right now and we will reload the page and let's see how badly i messed this up so we got day one showing this is accurate we got our day one video so what happens now is we got our day two video right there and we have our day three. Now you're gonna see here, there is a little bit of an animation going on there, and I do have to remember to talk to the devs about getting that animation taken out. Again, if you wanted that animation to be removed, you could do that, and uh, with again, a little bit of code, but hopefully by the time you get around to setting up something like this, I will have had a chance to uh, send in a support ticket, and hopefully they can get rid of that animation, because as you can see here, it does not work uh, very well to have that animation in there. So that is all I have for right now. This is how you get it set up. If you got any questions, just let me know.